right. It's a girl, Lavin Green, right here, and it's all about Jams TV. And who I got in the building right now? Mr. Jew. We can keep right there. Jew. <laughs> Producer, photographer, videographer, and artist. Now, artist. Mm -hmm. Jew, how are you feeling? Uh, this feels unreal. <laughs> Why? Why does it feel unreal? It's, um, it's been a fast process. Mm -hmm. um, uh, a, little, a, little, a little extra limelight. Wasn't expected. No, so, what, okay, what necessarily, what have really been the fast process for you? Um, being an artist now? Being, uh, being, I guess, what people would consider a good artist. Okay. Any, I feel like anyone can be an artist. Yeah. Like, right? But for professionals to say, okay, mm -hmm. we can do a song. Yeah. That means... No one, no one would want to do a song with someone that sounds you know, yeah, bad. Yeah. And then for the feedback, <laughs> for people that just you know, generally you know, gravitate and actually like you know, yeah. the sound. So it's like, okay, let's, mm -hmm. let's do it. You know. Okay, so what did you start off with first though? Because I know you're multi-talented. Like, uh, I mean, you got yeah. your fingers and everything, your uh, hands and everything. So. <laughs> um, boy. I started off doing photography. Okay. Well, videography. I always what made you get into it? Music video. I always loved music. Oh, okay. But she was one of the kids. I was in the front of the TV. Always just watching. And then music I found my, yeah, I found myself, mm -hmm. you know, become um, staying more, spending more time on YouTube. Yeah. Then on LimeWire or Aries. Mm -hmm. So I would want to see the visuals, especially yeah. like Sean Ball videos, to kind of like take you from one to the next uh, one. Okay. So yeah. like I was always like a video person. Uh -huh. and, um, a hundred. I mean, um, BET and. Um, MTV jams, I would mm -hmm. always watch them from mornings and night. I know all the countdowns. So yeah. That's when videos was, you know, so, you know, relevant and tempo. It was like mm -hmm. always new music videos like almost every week. Yeah. So I had a love for videos like coming out of high school. I did my first music video in grade 11. On, oh, on okay. A, on a pebble, yeah. You did on a pebble? <laughs> He uh, was the pebble? Yeah. <laughs> How did it come out? <laughs> um, it got me uh, uh, on where I needed to be in my career. Okay, good. Yeah. good. That's how Najee Dunn found out about me. He's like, yeah. Yo, you did this on a pebble? Yeah. And he showed his dad and stuff. like, we got to get this guy with some professional help. Do you still have the video? Um, I probably could find it. I, but, right. I sent it to the artist at the time. Mm -hmm. and, you know, people deactivate their faces. Yeah, things like happen. That. It would be good to go and track it down. So, it still looks good. It was so actually good. on beat, you know. It would yeah. be good to see a shot right in my backyard. I was like, if you remember what a pebble looks like, if you remember the pebble fooling, the flip yeah. one. We made magic happen. Yeah, not clearly. Okay. <laughs> not clearly. <laughs> so, so that was the first time you um, yeah. started shooting me. Yeah, and I, 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 and I mm -hmm. you know, at that point I was like, okay, I, you know, I'll make this a hobby. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't really making money at the time, but that's no. something that I. That's how it starts. Yeah, but yeah. that was something that I, you know, I kind of stuck with after that. Mm -hmm. So it was photography, videography, yeah, all in one. And, and producing uh, more entrepreneurship now. Mm -hmm. um, I own a few businesses that, oh, uh, good. especially passive income. So I have a mm -hmm. photo booth company, nice uh, called Picture Perfect. Uh, uh -huh. I have a party renters company. So we have mm -hmm. like 33 bouncing and gasses, oh, wow. rock climbing, yeah. mechanical bull, like foam machines, and stuff everything, like that, and foam bits. So mm -hmm. started that like two years ago. Um, I do, I throw events too, um, mm -hmm. along with my other business partners. So we have mm -hmm. an annually, annual New Year's party called Skyfall. Oh, and then, okay. Um, we do a pool party annually, you know, whenever COVID decides yeah. to um, yeah. high. Mm -hmm. So, you know, nice. I've always been creating and, you know, creating workflows mm -hmm. that, that, that can exist and, you know, remain sustainable in the industry that doesn't require me to be in the forefront. Okay. And I also play a big role at ILTV Studios. Mm -hmm. So, I'm the production manager and, mm -hmm. and operations manager. Wow. Yeah. And that, that was a mouthful. I'm like, wow. <laughs> everything. But that's why I said multi talented. Yeah. You have your hands literally in everything. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> all the good reasons. <laughs> yeah. Uh, good stuff. Uh, good stuff. Good yeah. stuff. <laughs> so, um, what about producing music, though? How did that come about? Um, so, I visit, a, I visit a friend of mine, so Najee mm -hmm. um, I have um, I usually check out my God Kids. Mm -hmm. So, it's, um, just kind of winding down. I'm coming to the end, end of last year, you know, it was more, more relaxed. So mm -hmm. I visited his home and just check out my god kids man to drop up some presents and he was working on his on his album and mm -hmm. he had a little home studio and he was like, you know, while I have you here because him and Sultan recommended it like five, six years ago, two thousand and fourteen. Mm -hmm. And I was like, Oh, you should try you know, you should try the music we hear you mumbling in the background, you sound like you have something that always pressure yeah. out. But he's like, While I have you here, you had the mic there and the headphones like, just put the headphones on. I was like, Man. Uh -huh. I didn't come just here try for it this. Out. Yeah, so yeah, just put on the headphones, he's like, just let me go on YouTube real quick and he yeah. download a beat. And it was very catchy, and I was like, you know, and he said, like, what else? Uh -huh. It's like, okay, do that. That's like, that don't make sense. He said, like, yeah. no, just mumble it. That's what we call a melody, and then we can go back and you can go back and put words to it. So when I started to like, you know, get a little vibe from it, he's like, we doing this. I was like, 
that don't sound stupid because I was, I was getting like, I would feel like I was giving off soldier boy vibes. Yeah, so I'll, I was I'll, like, okay, it's to the it's, penthouse. It's, I just keep saying to the penthouse. <laughs> and it's like, I say, it's not crazy. We love soldier yeah. boy. We love him. But look where he is now. Yeah, it I, I don't want it to be too catchy for me. To yeah. Like, Yo, there's, there's a hit. And then I was like, what is he talking uh-huh. about? But he was like, yo, we doing this. And then yeah. that same night, we recorded uh, two other tracks. Mm-hmm. And when I left the studio, I just hit up Shadi and Foots and I asked for their professional advice. And it was like, they didn't even, it took them a while for them to um, convince themselves that it was actually me. I was like, yeah. how you just wake up and start rapping? Yeah. And it's like, yeah, just let me know what you think. I sent Shadi the demo mm-hmm. and he's like, the sound good. I said, you would go on it. He say, I'm going to write a voice for this and we can record that tomorrow. I actually started freestyling and he was like, yeah. we can go with that. And that's how I got Shadi on the track because mm-hmm. I wanted his advice. He's a good friend of mine. So he does music. So shout out to Shadi. He ain't gonna let me. He won't <laughs> let me come out there with some foolishness. Well, so. Yeah, I think we all know Shadi. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, you know, don't don't kill yourself. The exactly. more give, give me some advice about cadence and flow mm-hmm. and all that stuff. Said the more you do, you know, the better you yeah. get. So I just I just go with it. And I mm-hmm. I didn't want to do a project at all. Um, now nah, no. she was like, let's do a four song EP. Let's do a mixtape. I was like, no, I don't have the time. I mean, I I don't want to be a rapper, mm-hmm. but then like. And I realized that this, this is the perfect opportunity because, you know, COVID, you know, pe- mm-hmm. it taught us to, like, don't limit yourself to what you, what you exactly. think might be in your thing. I mean, you know? if you're already so successful in everything else, yeah, it's so like, I mean, hey, like, I'm pretty sure if you, you try have the time this time And then it's like, it yeah. don't take nothing away from me because I have all the resources kind of around me. Uh-huh. It, it doesn't take, and I, like it, I, I can financially support my own dream, which is mm-hmm. important, too, because you want to take advantage of opportunities when people don't have that. Mm-hmm. So I was able to, you know, make, sit down and say, you know, let's do this and let's see how much people we can inspire. And not push the music but more so push the message that's yeah. why i keep the name i'm not a rapper it was a joke but i said you know i'm actually going to name my album i'm not a rapper because what this is is a project you know uh-huh. put together by a non-rapper yeah yeah and if, someone who just woke up one day yeah, and like, hey, start rapping. i'm good i can do this yeah. so you know everything won't be perfect yeah and, and, and i want i want a lot of transparency mm-hmm. but what you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna have some really good songs okay well i'm waiting because yeah. i already have a really good one already yes so you're gonna have yeah, plenty, plenty. <laughs> yes you're gonna have plenty more I want uh-huh. a lot of features um, uh-huh. it's that that helped me to grow in the process and kind of learn and I have a great appreciation for music. Mm-hmm. So I hit up um, Jamie C, Shooter Lion, Sleepy Lex, Twin, yeah. um, BZ. All of those um, cars. Yeah, plenty of old school. And yeah. this, you know, I always you know, loved music. So I kind of mm-hmm. did my homework and you know, said, okay, this would be a perfect song to go okay. on this person. And when I I'd send them the track and say, hey, mm-hmm. you know, would you like to be on the song? And it's like, if I would like to, this this you. And then they yeah. just give me two days and they send me back a verse. And wow. that's, that's what the response was. Mm-hmm. Oh, they say, let's get in the studio. and. And then yeah. we make some magic up. We can have it going from there. Mm-hmm. So who's going to be on? I know you have an upcoming project. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so like the, the upcoming project, um, a few features on this all. So we have. Is it an album? Is it it's an, an album? It's yeah. an album. So it's an album. Um, mm-hmm. It's mixing and ma- mixing and mastering now. So it's basically mm-hmm. done. Yeah. Um, we have Judah the Lion. Um, he's going to be on a track. We have Sleepy Lex, mm-hmm. Twin. Two and them. Hey. Uh, Foots. Mm-hmm. Foots the rapper. Um, who else? E. Iman. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lord Ryan. Um, okay. And now she done. Good. Yeah. Got so, some free for family yeah. in the mix. Okay. Some, <laughs> some, some other names. <laughs> yeah. That I don't want to mention. Uh, uh-huh. So I'm really excited about. Good. Yeah. Good. So okay, I heard you say basically like you know with you being in the music industry now. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you don't know like who all you might be inspiring, but of course, I'm pretty sure because you've been so successful at so many things mm-hmm. that you've already inspired a lot of people. Mm-hmm. But now with music, it's like, okay, so who inspires you? Mm-hmm. Um, Jay Z, Drake, mm-hmm. um, a lot of J Cole, mm-hmm. um, Tory Lanez, I like yeah. Chris Brown. I, I, I like a lot of music, Rick Ross, it's yeah. just for consistency, you know, mm-hmm. a lot of people... I, a lot I, of the greats that's yeah, been around Rick for Ross years. Rick been a while and, yeah. and it's always been in the conversation, uh-huh. you know, because people fade away. I'm a big fan of Lil Bane too. Yeah. And locally, I'm, I mean, I'm a fan of a lot of Bayman artists. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, Ten years ago, I couldn't listen to Bayman rap. Now I can listen, I can go all day and just only listen to Bayman yeah. rap. I love Bayman rap. Yeah. Yeah, I just feel like they just need the right exposure. I feel like we have the same mm-hmm. same amount of talent as We definitely do. Yeah, so I, 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 I like I love Foot's music. I love Lex. Mm-hmm. I love Travis Bow. Travis Bow's on album too, by the way. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I can still dig it. Yeah, yeah. You just some real dig it. Okay. Yeah, we just showed you came out the Bahamas to find Travis. <laughs> yeah, actually, I actually brought him here. We oh, you brought? A, okay. We did a music video last week. For yeah. Track. Mm-hmm. Um, so I brought him here. Yeah, we did that, and that's that's going to mm-hmm. be epic. That's going to release the day of the album. Okay. Um, so Good. yeah, be, I, I, I'm inspired by a lot of local talent mm-hmm. like Twin, um, Lex, uh, Rick Carey, D Mark, 
yeah. uh, Wendy, mm -hmm. just a lot of local art, Padrino, just I, yeah. I listen to a lot of Bahamian music. I, I'd go on SoundCloud all day and just search Bahamian music. Ducky. And just listen to it. And I love Ducky. Yeah, a lot of old school. Like I've been yeah. listening to music a long time, you know. From wow. Ice Peas to Rob and stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a long time. I love it, man. I love it. The fact like it's like you're, you're really in the mill. You're in the yeah. mix of everything and everyone yeah. that's out there. So I'm pretty sure, like, not, um, besides everyone who was already on album, I'm pretty sure you'd be working with a lot more persons. Yeah, and a lot of people, you know, what's so surprising is a lot of people been giving me good feedback, a lot mm -hmm. of professionals. Yeah. So, and I call them professionals because that's what they are. They do mm -hmm. this for a living. You yes. Know, and they, and they, they take it seriously. So it's like, Judah, don't take it seriously. You have a talent, mm -hmm. you know. The same thing with Judah, Judah's like, no, you sound good. Mm -hmm. Don't don't downplay yourself. We're going to do a track, but I want you to keep that same momentum, yeah. you know, just you know, speak it into existence. Mm -hmm. so I've been, you, you know, following, following that. And, I'm, I'm, you know, yeah. it, it, it caught me by surprise to know the yeah. feedback would have been, you know, just like this. Well, you know, I'm actually trying to make the best of it too. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to let anybody down. No. I'm pretty sure I did just that with yeah. this project. Yes. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to hear. Yeah. I definitely cannot wait to hear. So are we, um, should we, we be expecting any visuals soon? Yes. Okay. So, um, so are you recording your own video? I'm directing all my videos besides okay. two. Uh -huh. With the, um, two music videos, um, mm -hmm. I want to be directed by two young black females. Oh, so I, I intentionally. Your power. Okay. Yeah, so <laughs> you know, especially coming out of a woman's mind, I, want, I wanted to have a, a, a female, you know, you know, direct and bring this concept to life. So yes. There are two music videos that I have directed by two female, two female mm -hmm. directors. Everything else I'll be directing myself. Good. And editing. Good. Oh, I love it. Mm -hmm. I love it. It makes it much easier when you're doing it. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. That's a lot of, uh, yeah, all the graphics yeah. and stuff I've been doing, mm -hmm. it's just a lot of work. Well, at least yeah. it's, you know, I mean, well, um, the music business is pretty expensive, so at least I cut some costs. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, yeah, it doesn't? Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Because I'm very creative and, mm -hmm. and I, I create straight out of my pocket. So yes. Sometimes I create more than I can afford. Yeah. So uh, I, that's not I've been thing, seeing that as a challenge. Yeah. But you know, I, I love it and I, I just love to support any idea that I have. Mm -hmm. You know, if I want to be a chef, I want to be the best uh -huh. chef. I want to have the right tools. Okay. So let me just ask you briefly, you can explain to me. So you're, you're single with um, Shadi, right? Mm -hmm. Showtime Shadi. Mm -hmm. Can you basically just tell me, like, I don't know, what really inspired it? I just the lyrics in it and okay. just tell me the name of the single one more time. So, uh, so the single is called Oh the Trenches. So the Could single is called Oh the Trenches. Yes. And um, when you say Oh the Trenches, where were you like? Um, what area? Um, you I, grew, I grew up in Johnson Alley. Uh, a lot of people might not know where it is, but it's the uh, mm -hmm. dead end, right across the road from where Bam's Academy used to be off Old Road, next to the Bamboo Shop. Yeah. By the police station. So it's a little dead end. People call it you know, dirty back alley. Yeah, so that's the but, trenches. Yeah, so that's, <laughs> you're talking that's the about trenches. You know, no power. You know, yeah. there's still a water pump. I just I just went through there yesterday to visit a brother of mine, and there's no there's no there's still there's still a, a government pump there that mm -hmm. you would have to pack up a bunch of trolleys with water bottles and buckets and care to the end of the wow. corner. And these people would go to Atlantis and work, you know. But yeah. they just you know, some people just love that corner, and I yeah. always just like I I can't see myself being here for Yeah, and. What, it's, what, what the album is, it just talks about where I've been, but also mm -hmm. talks about where I'm going. Mm -hmm. And then also in, in an inspired way, you know, I don't want to speak about Rolexes and, and, and Raves, because I, I simply don't have that. Mm -hmm. and and you're even if, even if not if a I, rapper. Yeah, yeah, I'm not a rapper. And then <laughs> I, that's not something that. I want to bring to the industry. Yeah. You know, I want to use, you know, my platform to kind of like motivate some people and allow them to know they can do the uh -huh. same thing too. So you could be in the trenches, but that don't mean you necessarily be say that. That don't determine where you're going to be. Because exactly. I didn't go to school for any of this. I went mm -hmm. to YouTube University, you know, yeah. so... You know, don't don't look at where you are now and, and let it determine where you're going to be in the future. Because exactly. you know, I came with the trenches. I'm not where I want to be, but I'm also mm -hmm. doing good and I'm, in, I'm embracing it too. Mm -hmm. and I feel like if you're doing good and you're far from where you've been, you should do the same. Exactly. I love it, man. Positive yeah. vibes. I yeah, love man. the energy. <laughs> too much negative vibes. Like, right? Yeah. We, we need that. Especially now in 2020 when we already had a rough 2020. So at least yeah. just try to, you know, go forward with a more positive yeah. spirit. I feel like the more we help people, mm -hmm. the more people get help other people. Exactly. Like, keep so it, keep it going. For all your fans is about to come and all the fans you have, everyone you've inspired, like what just encouraging message would you give everyone right now? Like even when it comes to artists, mm -hmm. videographers, photographers, entrepreneurs. Um, I would say for anybody that wants to do something um, that they might feel like, you know, they're, they're second guessing. Uh, one thing COVID taught me and all of us is you know, nothing is off the table. Um, ask for feedback and not for advice. So 
when it comes to mind, do it and then ask for feedback. But a lot of times people give, they don't give the right feedback and I could also bottleneck the idea and, and not bring it to life. So I don't mm -hmm. allow people to bring, you know, what could be an amazing idea um, and you push that in a, in a closet or just don't even decide to move forward with it. Yeah. So do whatever comes to mind and then you get the feedback from others after you already made your mind up. You know, but don't let people make, be the decision maker. Exactly. So where can we find all of your music now, or your videos, your photography? Because <laughs> I know people, of course, they want to hire you, yeah. they want to work with you. Yeah, they so wanna... I, uh, uh -huh. um, I have been bottlenecking a lot of the content. So I just hired uh, Coco Blum Marketing to uh, push and social media, uh, social mm -hmm. models. So they're creating fan pages. So by the end of this week, you see fan pages, mm -hmm. YouTube pages. So Under what so. name? Nothing is that? Um, um, I'm not a rapper, you. Okay. Yeah, so website. So this J-U? J-U, yeah. Okay. And all my music, my, for Old Detroit, just the, the first single that I've released, is, it's basically everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's on Tidal, Spotify, Spotify, um, iTunes, Apple Music, TikTok, Shazam, um, Snapchat, mm -hmm. uh, YouTube, SoundCloud, everywhere. Everywhere. Yes. Okay, so we're getting ready yeah. to hear some more music from Mr. Jew, photographer, <laughs> videographer, producer, artist, and entrepreneur. We can't forget the entrepreneur. All right. So thank you definitely for joining us on Jams TV. Thank you for having me.